Harmonic patterns are patterns that appear in the market that can help any trader make calculated predictions to know exactly where the price will be headed. This way you can know exactly when the price will go up or down. So why isn't everyone trading these patterns? Well, harmonic patterns are very complex and hard to spot, so it's not easy for traders to trade based on these patterns. But this is no longer the case. This TradingView user recently created a free indicator that shows you all of these patterns so that you no longer have to search and calculate them yourself. I will be showing you exactly how the indicator works and what the best strategy is for this indicator. So let's head over to TradingView and add this very accurate indicator to the chart. First, let's change the time frame of the chart to the 5 minute time frame. The strategy also works on other time frames, however, for this showcase, we will be using the 5 minute time frame. After that, navigate to the indicator search tab and search for the harmonic pattern indicator. Select the indicator made by Rees and add it to the chart. Now let's take a look at how the indicator works. The indicator searches and displays the harmonic patterns that are found in the price action. Since harmonic patterns are one of the most accurate trading signals, but also one of the hardest patterns to spot, this indicator really helps. The indicator shows the harmonic patterns and makes a prediction, this prediction is displayed as a score. This way you can know which patterns are weak and which patterns are strong. By hovering over the score you can see exactly how the score was calculated. In short, the closer that the score is to 100% the better the signal is. So if the pattern has a score very close to 100% it has a high chance of being right. We also see these red lines and arrows. These are different price targets that can be used as take profit levels. As you can see here there also is a table that showcases the different patterns and how many times they were found. In this column, you can also see how many trades could have been taken with the pattern. If we move a column to the right, we can also see the success rate of the pattern. We can also see the average return for each pattern, this way we know which pattern has the highest percentage of making us profit, keep in mind that these percentages change based on the asset you are trading on. If you are trading on less volatile markets like Forex, the average return will be lower than more volatile assets like crypto. That's why most traders use more leverage when trading with assets such as Forex. Lastly, we also see that it shows you the total return of each pattern. By looking at the win rate of each pattern we can see the following, the best pattern is the crab pattern which has a 100% accuracy. The shark pattern is right behind the crab pattern with a 58.02% accuracy and the third most profitable pattern is the butterfly pattern with a 55.88% accuracy. Now let's change the indicator settings so that we can use the indicator with the strategy. Head over to the indicator settings tab and click on the style tab. After that uncheck the tables checkbox so that we can clear up the chart a bit. After that, we will need to add one more indicator to the chart to make sure that the entries will be valid. Head over to the indicator search tab and search for the high volume candles indicator. Select the indicator made by Dimikiev and add it to the chart. That was all that we needed to do for the chart configuration, now let's take a look at when to enter into a position. First, let's take a look at when to enter into a buy position. Firstly, there will need to be a bullish harmonic pattern. This is the case when the label is under the candlestick. Secondly, we will need for the score to be above 90% this way, we can make sure that the signal is strong and has a high chance of being profitable. Lastly, we need for there to be an important green candlestick before the signal is given or on the candlestick where the signal is given. This indicates that there might be enough momentum to push the price up. We will enter into the position on the close of the candlestick. We will be putting the stop loss at the recent swing low. If there is no clear swing low, we will use the red lines to determine where we should place the stop loss. For the take profit, we will at least need to have a risk to reward ratio of 1.5. We can use the green line to determine the best placement for the take profit. Now let's take a look at how the trade plays out. As you can see the trade was very profitable. Now let's take a look at a sell signal. 
But before that, if you are looking for a secure and reliable broker that has been operating since 2007 and has raw spreads from zero pips, extremely low fees, no hidden markups, and free deposits and withdrawals, then check out AAFX the best broker to trade forex, indices, commodities, stocks, and cryptocurrencies. Unlike some brokers, they allow all trading strategies. Sign up via the link in the description of the video and get access to all of the previously mentioned features. Now let's take a look at when to enter into a sell position. Firstly, there will need to be a bearish harmonic pattern. You can check if this is the case by making sure that the label is above the candlestick. After we have made sure that that is the case we will need to take a look at the score. We will check to see if the score is above 90%. This way we can make sure that the signal is strong and has a high chance of being profitable. Lastly, we need there to be an important red candlestick before the signal is given or on the candlestick where the signal is given. This indicates that there might be enough momentum to push the price further down. All of the conditions have been met, so we will enter into the position on the close of the candlestick. We will be putting the stop loss at the recent swing high. As you can see here there is no clear swing high so we can use the red lines to determine where we should place the stop loss, in our case, we will now be putting the stop loss here. For the take profit, we will at least need to have a risk to reward ratio of 1.5. We can use the green line to determine the best placement for the take profit. Now let's take a look at how the trade plays out. Now let me show you when you shouldn't enter into a position. As you can see here, there is a bullish harmonic pattern, we know this, because the label is below the candlestick. We also see that the percentage is above 90% this indicates that the signal is strong. However, we don't see an important green candlestick before the signal is given or on the candlestick where the signal is given. This means that there might not be enough momentum to push the price up. So we will not enter into the position. The take profit and stop loss lines disappear whenever a price reaches them. This means that the indicator repaints. However, keep in mind that the take profit and stop loss lines need to disappear otherwise the chart would be extremely cluttered with the take profit and stop loss targets of all previous trades. If you head over to the settings tab and uncheck everything so that only the entry signals appear you will see that it only repaints in certain cases which never affects the backtesting results. As price changes, if another point deforms, it's possible that the initial pattern will be removed in favor of the new pattern. This is done in good faith though, as it respects any entries and targets that may have already been hit. So if a target has already been hit, the old pattern is kept and a new pattern will be drawn. Also, if there was already an entry done on the initial pattern, that entry will be inherited by the new pattern, so it upholds the integrity of backtesting. So the indicator might change the label, however this won't matter if you already entered the position, this also doesn't change any of the backtesting results. If you would like to know more, check out the code of the indicator. It's open sourced and available for anyone to view on TradingView. Overall, this seems like a great indicator. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment.